Hiya, hiya, hiya to me, hiya to you. I'm Cousin Jay, and this is my zoo, and I'll teach you so much your brain's gonna spew. So roll up, roll up, roll up to Cousin Jay's preposterous, boisterous, and sometimes adulterous homo sapien zoo. Homo habilis need not apply, and as always, thank you for not smoking. In today's information packing, mind fracking, knowledge smacking episode, liquids, not just something that squirts from your body. In the wide world of teeny deenies stationarium, liquids behave like your grandpappy on holiday. Not properly and entirely inappropriately. First up, sucking liquids up through a straw. Here in our test apparatus, that's with an I, not sometimes with a Y, we have a mist of vapor. Ooh, spooky vapor. But don't worry kiddos and little spittos, 92% of it was once blood. To conduct this experiment, First we need a vent, a pipe valve kit that we will put down and select condenser. Then we will need a number of liquid pipes, another valve kit that we will select expansion valve, a few lengths of gas pipe, and another vent. We turn on both valves and watch our troubles be sucked away. Alternatively, we can select a bunch of pipes, a liquid drain kit, and then place a passive liquid drain valve on the gas pipe. And once again, our troubles will drain away. Next, we'll create liquids from gas. Will we use the condensation chamber? Absolutely not. First, we need a few pipes. A regulator valve kit, which we will get a prescient valve out of, a source of gas, which we'll be using the storage thing for, and this bottle of pollutants. And now, boys and girls, and all those of indeterminate genders, we add a bunch of pipes so the magic doesn't happen suddenly. We increase the pressure rating, turn it on, and wait for the magic to happen. Don't you just hate it when you magic prematurely? And what's this? A drip? A drop? A gushing pile of slop? No, it's liquid pollution, America's most favorite liquid. And how did we get our gas to turn into a liquid at room temperature? Like most suicides, pressure. Pressure makes the difference between room temperature snot and a projectile sneeze in the face. What else can a little pressure and a little cold do to gases and liquids? Well, the possibilities are endless. But Cousin Jay is sick of this character and must go. So my little idiots and schmidiots, thank you for joining me, have a good day, and remember, if you don't blow up your lab at the end, you haven't done real science. I am never fucking doing this again. This was so much work. I am so tired. I'm going for a fucking nap.